Hello and welcome back to Come Geeksome. If you are new to the channel, please like and subscribe for all future content. Hello and welcome back. We've been off for a couple of days because I had a family wedding, which was absolutely amazing. Couldn't drink though, which put a little bit of a damper onto it. But apart from that though, seeing friends and family for a long time, which you haven't seen in a long time that is, it was nice. And again, so on here, happy Thanksgiving to a lot of my friends in America. Hope you all had a great, great holiday. It's Christmas time, we got the tree up, we got a couple of little gremlins here, the Christmas carols. So everyone should be happy and cheerful and, well, I went shopping this morning and it's already too busy for me. Good thing I got all my stuff done. So we're gonna jump straight into it today. A lot of things have happened and I've seen a lot of things about Jamie being harassed at 7-Eleven and all this kind of thing. And I'm like, okay, fair enough, whatever. But what I'm going to read here though, it comes from Jeff. So again, Jeff, you've been a big help ever since this has started. You are getting a lot of good things because a lot of us, well, a lot of us are blocked on numerous things from these people. So what we're going to do, we're going to jump straight in. What KV is too dense to realise is this isn't just an insult to Ice Down Movie, this is how she sees anime fans in general. But I guess that's why Ice Down Movie shows up in force every con the attends have donated $260,000 to his GoFundMe with our imaginary dollar we earn at our imaginary jobs. And when I saw that, I was like, what's gone on? Why is he saying imaginary money and why is he saying imaginary jobs? Well, I had to jump into, I had to find out what's going on and this is what Jamie had to say. Well, I don't have an argument to make. I was never arguing with you. You're the only one trying to prove anything. I don't give a flying waffle what you think about what I do. That's fair enough because a lot of people don't care what other people do and a lot of people just put it on social media to be like, oh, look at this. And that's really sort of thing, so I don't really care about that one. Oh well, since you, a stranger troll on Twitter, said it, it must be fact. I'm so glad you showed up this in hand to tell me all about life and philosophy. You are probably invited to all the best parties because you're so fun. Okay, Jamie, well done. But this is the one that cracked me up the most. They are not aware of that, for they never leave their mom's basement. They don't outside. And someone replied to her, the sun will literally melt them away should it ever shine on them. With that there, it's a bit like, so you're saying that because people don't go outside, they're not going to get the sun, you know, they're going to melt and everything else. And I was just thinking like, well, a lot of people show photos of them outside. You know, again, there's lots of photos of snow, like in Minnesota and other places in the States. People are driving through it, they're outside. People are at parties, they're showing photos. And I was just like, well, okay, you know, I'm pretty sure there was photos for a while of where you didn't even go outside, Jamie, because, again, you said you were hiding from the law and all this kind of thing, and everyone's just kind of gone, okay. But this is the one here that has made a lot of people take notice more of her now, and they're a bit like, what the hell? Because this is what she said. They were not. I stand with V only lurk in the shadows of the internet. They're not real people and they certainly don't have jobs. Well, this is coming from someone whose workload has kind of dwindled down over the last couple of months. You know, people at conventions are not going to her lines. So she's just sat there doing nothing. So she's not technically working. And again, if people didn't have jobs, how are they, you know, affording their rent? How are they affording their electricity? How are they affording all their appliances and, you know, like the internet, phone lines and all this kind of thing? It just makes you go, what? It's like, come on now. You, that's just being a little bit stupid saying that. I say that mostly because you've got a lot of people who are in good jobs. It's like myself, right? I technically don't work, but I'm a freelance editor. I get jobs and I do them at home. I do them on my laptop, I do them wherever I go. You know, I go to meetings, I do this, because I'm just a freelance editor, which is what that means is, I can do any job I want as long as it's editing. I can go to a coffee shop all day and edit. May not look like I'm doing any work, but I am. This is just a little part-time thing, it's a little side thing. Because again, doing these type of videos, they only take roughly about two, maybe three hours out of my day. The rest of those days, when I'm not here, I'm editing, so again, because we don't spot, people don't see what we do outside of other things. People on Twitter, you know, you've got tattoo artists who work different hours. 
people who work nights, you got people who work in supermarkets and warehouses, and they shift work. So, saying that, I really do think she only said that just to get a rise out of people, and I'm just here to say, guys, just don't let us say it. It just makes her look more foolish. If you are new to the channel, please like and subscribe, hit that notification bell for future updates, and I'll see all you lovely people soon.